Please subscribe the channel. Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amarab Dalayan welcomed his Saudi counterpart at the Foreign Ministry ahead of bilateral talks and a press conference on Saturday afternoon. The Saudi minister said he would also have a meeting with Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi, who has just finished a tour of Latin America. During the press conference, the two diplomats hailed re-establishment of diplomatic relations, which they said would be paramount to improving security across the region. The Islamic Republic of Iran has never equated security with militarism and considers security to be a comprehensive concept, which includes political, economic, cultural, trade and social dimensions between all the countries of the region, Amar Abdelayan said. The Iranian foreign minister added that he discussed a wide range of issues with his counterpart, which included trade ties and joint investments, in addition to accommodating Saudi tourists and pilgrims who may be interested in visiting Iran. For his part, bin Farhan said, mutual respect, non-interference in the two countries' internal affairs and commitment to the United Nations Charter will be at the center of bilateral relations going forward, with an eye on securing the interests of both nations. I would also like to highlight the two countries' discussions on cooperation on ensuring maritime security and reducing proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, he said. Meanwhile, media reports indicate Iran and the U.S. have been holding indirect talks in Oman aimed at reducing tensions, which could potentially lead to results on Tehran's nuclear program, an exchange of prisoners and the release of frozen Iranian funds. At the same time, the agreement between Iran and Saudi Arabia has begun decreasing tensions across the region, including in Yemen where the two had backed opposing sides in the devastating war. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, who was backed by Tehran, was welcomed back into the Arab League last month. Saudi Arabia, along with several other Arab states, had thrown their weight behind the opposition in Syria.